In this video I will be showing you guys how to spoof your PS3 system version to 4.85 and play online. All you need for this is some kind of PlayStation 3 USB. You should have one if your PS3 is hacked with custom firmware. So what you want to do, go and get your USB, go and connect this to your computer and I will show you guys what to do next. Okay guys, so over on your computer, what we want to do is go to the links in the description of this video and we want to grab the latest version of Sen Enabler. So what you guys want to do, select your preferred choice. I'm going to go with Mega. I really like Mega. So we are going to download it from here. And um, all you guys want to do is just click on the download button right here and we're going to download the latest zip file for Sen Enabler. And then what you guys want to do is go to the next link in the description. This is for PSN patch. Basically what this does is kind of just patch your console ID or spoof the ID um, just in case you get like banned or anything so we're going to scroll down and we're also going to click the download button on this so there you go we've got two files we've got a zip file and we've also got a package file all right guys so once we've got these files the first thing you want to do is go to your downloads folder and find both of them in there first of all select the send enabler raw file so you will need RINRA to extract this but right click it and just select extract here once it's extracted you just want to press the delete key and delete the raw file so what we want to do is delete a few files in here we want to delete the check changelog file, the readme file, and the second readme file. And then there you go, that should be pretty much it. Then what you wanna do is select all these four files and just drag and drop them on your PS3's USB. And then there you go, that is pretty much it. Wait for the files to finish copying across. If it asks you to overwrite anything, go ahead and do it. Maybe you have an old version of PSN patch. And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back onto our PS3 and we're going to install these files. Okay, so once you guys are back, make sure your USB is now plugged in. I'm just going to show you my PS3. If I go into my settings and I go down to my system settings and I go all the way down, let me show you my firmware version, system information. So I'm running 4.84. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spoof my firmware to the latest version. I believe this is already being spoofed, but um, I'm running Rebug. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to go all the way to my package manager and press X. And then I'm going to go to install install package files and press X. We need to go into standard, which is our USB, and we need to find them. So we've got send enabler. I'm just going to install this. And then once this is finished installing, press circle. And we've also got the next one, which was the PSN patch. So we're going to install both of these. PSN patch is kind of old, but I find it quite useful. It always deletes, you know, old files, old internet files. So first of all, we're going to open up GT Academy 2013. I don't know why Sen Enabler is called that. It always is. But just go ahead and launch that up. And then you'll get to this screen and it says it has added spoof for 4.85, which is perfect. So press X for OK. And now what you want to do is go down to Sen slash PlayStation Network options and press X. Then what you want to do is go to the top option and put enable Sen access. You want to press X on this. Do you want to enable Sen access? X for yes. We do want to enable it. And now you just want to wait for it to load. And now you guys will get this message saying um, it is done. So all you want to do is press X for yes. And there you go guys, now we can actually open up PSN patch. So what you want to do is press X and then just continue holding X. And what you're actually waiting for is this beep sound. As soon as you hear your PS3 beep, you want to let go. So there you go, beeps, let go, and it will just uh, go back to the home screen very quickly. And now what we can do is go and check out the system settings. Now every time you want to go online, I would recommend using PSN patch. I don't know if people still get banned, but it's always safe. It deletes all of the kind of like old files and stuff. So we're going to go to settings. We're going to scroll down. We are looking for the system settings, which is right here. Then scroll all the way down again and find system information. And as you guys can see, 4.85. And we didn't even have to update. So we're going to go back, back again. And maybe I can try and go online now and just show you if I just... I might actually have to put my new router settings in. So I'll do that real quick. Okay, so now I'm back. I'm going to try and sign into my account. And let's see, does it work? It might give me some kind of error. I don't know. It normally does give me an error. But um, let's see if I can sign in and online should actually be working. Okay, no error, there you go. And apparently I've received the message, oh, I'm on this account. I actually got banned on Black Ops 2 on this account, I think. Oh wow, quite a few friend requests. Anyway, so that is pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.